Hi, I had a bad uh, printed circuit board on my dishwasher that I was able to diagnose and order and replace by myself. And uh, I thought I'd go over this information with you to help you. I'm not going to go over how to dismantle your dishwasher. You can There's other videos online depending on your model. I have a GE dishwasher and I'm just going to cover, like in my dishwasher there's there's two boards. There's a printed circuit board. This one I'm showing you here. This is under the handle area of the door where you push the buttons. And then there's also another control board or motherboard down uh, underneath the dishwasher. And I'm going to show you uh, how, I, how I looked at that later. But right now in this service diagnostics guide, here's kind of an outline of that board. And most importantly, there's a pointer here to this service LED. That service LED is always flashing. And uh, it flashes between one and eight times. And uh, based on buttons you press and, and uh, different uh, sequences you try to use to test, you can uh, use that information to determine uh, which of your printed circuit boards are bad. So this service diagnostic sheet here is really key. Um, it should come with your dishwasher. There's two columns of information here in English that you're going to uh, really be able to use. The same information is repeated in Spanish, but just at a high level here, there's a section here using the push buttons on your dishwasher handle. It, it shows you how to get into what they call consumer error mode and service mode. And based on uh, the buttons you press and the lights that it shows, uh, it'll give you clues to things that could be wrong with your dishwasher. And then if, if you get past that, or even if you don't, there's another uh, way you can, this section here describes uh, different settings on your dishwasher and how that service LED should be flashing. It flashes like one time to tell you this, or two times to tell you this, or eight times, up to eight times to tell you that. And based on getting these, these flashes, on the controls I was pressing, I was able to find out that this circuit board was bad, the other circuit board was good, I ordered this part, put it in, and my dishwasher's back to working normal. Now they recommend, I've seen people recommend online, you know, you don't always know these guys are telling you what's right or not, but you recommend online that if one circuit board's bad, you might want to replace both circuit boards. Um, this one was dead for me. The other one seemed to be functioning fine. I bought the one, replaced it. I'm working fine. But they are connected by a ribbon, so it is conceivable that one circuit board could affect the functioning of the other and vice versa. But either way, I'm going to go to the dishwasher now, do some button presses. Just quickly, not everything. I'm not going to read this to you. You're going to have to read your own manual because, like I said, this is my GE dishwasher, and I know it comes with these sheets, and they're very important sheets, but uh, yours could vary. And I'm only doing this because you, sometimes you read these, it's, it's just hard to interpret what you read to what you should do. Um, I don't think it's a fault of my understanding, it's just by seeing it, it's easier. All right, I'm going to use the information in the first column of this sheet, pushing buttons and interpreting the lights. So you start by pushing these, cycle select and start for 10 seconds. You enter door check mode. By it flashing, that just means the door is open. If my door were closed, it would be solid. After 10 seconds, it's going to enter consumer error mode. Now, importantly, what's going on here? Everything's working fine on this door. If this light were lit, that would mean there's an error communicating to the control board between that ribbon cable. If this light were lit, that would mean there's been an error recently in wash temperature not being reached. If this light were lit, there's an error at the thermistor. And if this light were lit, there's a problem with the turbidity sensor. This light, the door lock being lit, just means you're in the error mode. Okay, after completing those tests, to enter service mode, you push and hold cycle select for five seconds.
now at this point um, there's different tests you could run so by pressing cycle select consecutive times see how it's flashing twice see how it's flashing three times it's flashing four times okay and finally five times now at any point when I had those lights flashing and you can go through them over you push start and it starts to test on those different functions the tests are for the drain pump the water valve the circulation pump the heater and the detergent module I'm not going to do those tests because you're not going to see anything working but by pressing start you could start those tests one at a time and then to cancel this test you just press and hold cycle select and start just like we did to enter the mode and then you're back to ready mode now I'm going to go down and uh, show you underneath the flashing service LED on the control board okay so right now I'm underneath the dishwasher and I've taken off the front cover panel here and you can see this this wire is the connection between the upper board where the buttons are pressed and it goes up into the control board underneath the chassis here now to get at it I'm actually gonna have to there's a little silver metal cover plate across the hole from the dishwasher I'm gonna uh, take out a couple of uh, quarter inch screws and expose that so you can see the circuit board be right back alright so I took out those couple of screws and now I can drop this panel and you can see the control board I don't know if you can see that well and there I see the service LED blinking let me turn off the light so you can see it there see it's blinking once that's the service LED in the middle of the control board now there's a whole series of tests in that chart that it can tell you exactly you know which part of the cycle of the dishwasher you're in so let me give you an example one light blinking every three seconds that's what I have now it says unit is not running a cycle select the cycle and press start oh first thing I'll tell you is if you disconnect the power all these lights go off you have to have the power connected to see this single light blinking so then I'm going to go up here and select the cycle and it's blinking twice so two blinking means units in delay start and waiting to start a cycle the cycle begin once the delay expires and I have the door open so it won't start alright there there are flashing codes between one time and eight times and if I went through all these tests you would see them and they would work so like if I have this dishwasher running it'll be flashing three times and if I pause the dishwasher it'll be flashing four times and those codes are kind of important so when I knew my control functions were working based on interpreting these codes and then when I had trouble with the first set of tests on the first circuit board I I just determined that was the board that was bad alright so now I can cancel the cycle and it'll go back to one blink it's just waiting alright I hope you can uh, use this information to try and do the first set of troubleshooting on your dishwasher and save a save a trip from the repairman mine's back working again um, if you if you like this video please subscribe appreciate it thanks